transparency update. If you haven't already noticed, I'm wearing glasses today and I don't know what's been up, but in the last like week, um, my contacts have been like driving me bananas. And I actually read somewhere that like, I guess your eyes can change during pregnancy, like the shape of your eyes and stuff. And sometimes that makes wearing contacts like uncomfortable. I don't know, but it's getting really annoying. So anyway, hence the glasses. So I'm currently 33 weeks pregnant and um, I know I keep saying this, but it's just like flying by. I think when you get to a certain point in your pregnancy or like, I think there's like certain sort of fragments of your pregnancy that just seem to drag on and then at other times you just feel like where is the time gone and now that I'm kind of in the home stretch of things it's like really going by fast um because I'm like doing the last minute preparations and you know like I'm getting the room ready and packing and you know like all that kind of prep stuff there's like so much to keep me busy and um when I stop and think about how many weeks I am, it, I like I can't even believe that like it's almost here. So, so symptoms and cravings for this week. Um, so I mentioned the whole eye thing. I don't know. I guess that's I guess that's a bit of a symptom. Cravings. I wouldn't say that those have changed very much. Um, cereal and fruit. I talked about kind of getting into a whole fruit phase. I think the last um, update and that's just been going strong. I've been going crazy buying fruit and um, I especially have been loving watermelon and like any kind of like berry type fruit and I've also been making a lot of like um, like smoothies and stuff like a lot more than I was before so yeah so the whole fruit thing is kind of continuing so fruit and cereal and I think that's about it really. Everything else I'm kind of just, I mean, I'll just kind of eat whatever. I haven't really had any strong aversions to any specific foods either. Not so good thing is that my skin has been going downhill again. In the last couple of days, I just had like a million um, like breakouts pop up like all over my face. And like, especially on my cheeks, which is, extra bizarre because when I do break out um, I never get breakouts on my cheeks so I don't know and I'm sure that's like half the pregnancy and half like sort of the stress you know like the stress and anxiety of just everything coming you know to an end and stuff and I just feel like there's like so much to do and it seems like no matter how much you plan like ahead like you have nine months and then like you get to the end and you're just like I don't have enough time. <laughs> I still have some, you know, like discomfort in my back and my hips. The one thing that I've noticed, especially this week, aside from all the other complaints I had about not getting sleep, um, is that I'm like so extra sensitive to like any kind of noise in the middle of the night. And I'm not normally like a light sleeper. I can, you know, like, I mean, I can for the most part sleep through most random, I don't know, nighttime noises or whatever. Yeah, like as far as my husband goes, <laughs> I feel really bad because like the slightest like Eddie thing that he does in the middle of the night like just drives me crazy and like wakes me up instantly and then like I can't go back to sleep and I think it's just sort of like the accumulation of you know, like lack of sleep and then when you're finally getting those little pockets of sleep and then you get some sort of interruption that wakes you up it just like you're at your breaking point so he has been getting the brunt of a um a little bit of moodiness from me this week um, on the days that it was hot we actually had a fan in the room going which helped kind of like drown out you know what i mean like it was kind of like background noise that was drowning out all the other noise and it was helping me kind of just like stay asleep but we haven't been using it the last couple of days and so it's like it feels like it's extra quiet now at night and I'm like extra annoyed at everything so I've been using my um my app on my iPhone there's actually a fan a fan setting on there that sounds like there's a fan running in the back so I've actually had to be I've actually had to use that a few nights just to like get me through. 
as far as we know, we're still having a girl. My last doctor's appointment, actually, funnily enough, um, she was listening to the baby's heartbeat and telling me that, like, everything sounded good and stuff. And I said, like, jokingly, like, does it sound like it's still a girl? <laughs> and, uh she was like, well, actually, you know, like the heartbeat's perfect, but it's on the higher like end of the spectrum. So she goes, you know, that usually indicates that it is a girl. Girls tend to have, you know, like, I guess their heartbeats tend to be a little bit on the higher end of things. She actually did say that. So I kind of, we kind of got like a mini confirmation that it is still a girl. Okay, so I think I mentioned a little bit in my last video or in my last few videos that I have been measuring small for a good chunk of my pregnancy. The baby's been measuring small and I, I can't remember um, how much I went into it in the last update. But anyway, I had another ultrasound and as of my last ultrasound, everything looks great. Um, it's not that it's not that there was anything like bad going on, but um, they were just trying to keep an eye on my weight gain and the baby's weight gain and all the measurements and stuff. And then I'm actually like measuring um, like correctly for my week as well. And again, like I, I haven't been too worried about it just because I tend to measure small um, for parts of my pregnancies. As far as I know, everything is going well with that. And my weight gain to date is... 28 pounds. I have seven weeks to go, <laughs> I think, seven weeks or less to go. So um, I, I'm right on track, which is good. They usually say like about 30 pounds you should uh, gain, and I actually kind of fall into the category where I can actually gain a little bit more because I'm considered to be like underweight for my height which is ridiculous because I'm not underweight but just like when you look at those charts and stuff at the doctor's office um like I'm tall I'm 5'11 and so like I could weigh anywhere up to like 160 pounds I think it is and be considered like normal and healthy which I don't normally so in terms of that I'm kind of underweight which means that um I'm sort of allotted more weight gain during my pregnancies. It's really confusing, but anyway, um, I've always sort of stayed within the 30 to 35 pound range, closer to 30. So um, I'm well on, like I'm well below that right now. And um, apparently I'm on track. So baby is still super active. Um, I'm getting a lot of like jabs like in my ribs and my side there's been a few times where like you can actually see like body parts um kind of like sticking out of my stomach like where it looks like a foot or like a hand like it's just like really tiny you can kind of see like a bulge just like stick out of my stomach it's like really weird she's getting pretty strong um and also uh as far as they can tell um the baby is head down uh, already and I I think as of last time um, they had said that already. Complaints this week I think that kind of goes hand in hand with some of the symptoms that I talked about you know the no sleep um, just the breaking out and the general soreness. Probably being tired is like number one it always is for me I do not function well on not a lot of sleep and you know with four kids running around like thank god my husband is as helpful as he is and anytime he gets the chance he totally lets me sleep in or like take a nap or whatever so i'm very very like lucky that way the days that he's not here it's like torturous like i i just feel like i'm running on empty like all day it's less about the kids as it is about just like me not getting sleep like I think when I say that everybody thinks like oh well you're a mom of four kids of course you're gonna be tired and there's like there's a difference though between like you know the run of the mill just being tired you know because you're busy during the day and and that is true but that's manageable now it's about just like surviving because I'm getting like no good quality sleep at night so even if I was just like sitting on the couch doing nothing I still have a hard time keeping my eyes open more just about that the kids are still the kids and you know nothing has changed there 
So, um, yeah, I think my goal for the rest of the week, for the rest of, well, for the rest of the pregnancy is to try to get to bed at as good of a time as I possibly can um, and just see if I can clock in, you know, a few more hours of really crappy sleep. <laughs> we are pretty 100% sure at this point that we have picked the baby name. <laughs> I keep kind of saying like we're 99% sure and yeah, I think we're pretty 100% sure that we have picked the name and actually I'm pretty impressed because I really thought we were going to be like cutting it close in terms of like at the hospital still deciding. But we actually have settled on both the first and a middle name, which that was a feat in itself because, you know, like coming up with just a first name was hard enough. So to actually have knocked out a middle name as well is pretty impressive, I think. Our last pregnancy, my son, uh, we had picked his first name, but we literally were like at the hospital. Uh, I think it was the day after he was born and we were still trying to figure out a middle name. Like I mentioned before, we that's the one thing we reserve as kind of like, you know, a surprise um, when baby is born. So the kids are very excited to find out uh, what the baby's name is. And they have offered many suggestions of what they think the baby's name should be. The, the actual top suggestion that my kids have offered is that we should name the baby like one of their names. So we would have two of whoever. And everybody seems to think that that's a fine idea. Like nobody seems to think that there'd be a problem with having two kids in the same family with the same name. So if worse comes to worse and this name doesn't pan out, then we can always, we have four to fall back on. So that's good. Okay, so here is my belly shot. Here is the front. And there's one side. Let me move my scarf out of the way. There is the other side. Actual shot of my belly. So I still have an Audi, but those have gone in every time um, after baby's been born. Who knows a uh, baby number five, whether it will or not, but there's the one side. There's the other side. Getting big, getting very big and very heavy. <laughs> so that was my 33 week pregnancy update. Now this is actually going up a little bit late, um, not week wise, but I'm a couple of days um, into my 33rd week. Probably my next update, it'll seem like it goes up sooner than normal, if that makes sense, but I'm just going to try to get it up on time. So. so I hope that you enjoyed that. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe for continuing updates of my pregnancy all the way up to the big day. All the information will be down below and I have a bunch of links to my other channels. I have a vlog channel and a beauty channel. Um, I also have vlog pages you can go check out and check out my family and me and my kids and all that crazy stuff. Thank you again for watching and I hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you next week. Bye!